like for me you can't talk to me and raise your voice like trust me that is a line you can't cross that line you're talking to me and your voice is raised and you think i will understand what you're saying no i will literally tell you excuse me please we are grown-ups let's talk like normal people let's not talk as though we are belittling each other or anything let's talk like the way normal people see it so please tone down your voice because if you're talking to me like that trust me we are not going anywhere i'm not going to understand anything put it across in a polite manner as polite as you can but if that person doesn't want to understand then i guess it's good to go me and my niggas we ready to go hop on a beat and i'm setting it down i've been praying to god on my knees because i'm just trying to find me some peace and competing i just want to Hey Tasha family, what is up? What's good? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Natasha Reese and I'm back again with another great video. If you're new to my channel, hi, 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 you are welcome. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video to join the Tasha family. So in this video, as you have seen by the title, we're just going to be talking about why it is important for you as a person to set boundaries for yourself. So without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so boundaries show you the beginning and the end of something. As a person, boundaries help you know what you're comfortable with and what you are not comfortable with. They help you know to what limit a person can go when they're dealing with you. What do you tolerate? We, where do you call it quits? Where do you say, okay, now you are crossing the line, we can't do this. That is what boundaries are. They help you know what you would tolerate from people and they help you communicate better to help people understand how they can relate to you and how far you can go in tolerating something. So it is important for you to draw your boundaries from your personal beliefs. What are your personal beliefs? So for example, my personal belief is that I love God. So any person who comes in my life should understand that I love God. And anything that is going to be spoken against my belief as a Christian, I will not tolerate it. So when somebody comes in my life and maybe tries to discourage me or pulls me away, try to tries to pull me away from my love for God, I will just tell them, excuse me, you're crossing the line. This is where I, I call it quits. This is where I can't tolerate it. Like anything beyond this, I will not. So as a person, it is important for you to draw your boundaries based on your personal beliefs. How do you rate things in your life? What comes first? What comes last? This is how you draw your boundaries based on your beliefs because every person has got their own personal beliefs and they know what makes them comfortable. Okay, so now that we understand what boundaries are, it is important for you to learn how to communicate with the people around you when you feel like your boundaries are being crossed. So this is quite difficult. I've had a lot of discussions with you know girls and try to help them understand that it is important for them to communicate put across this you know this is what i don't like you tell your friend group this is what i don't like this is where i call it quits you do not cross this line with me these are my personal beliefs and if you do this you are making me comfortable but if you make me do what is not within my beliefs you know you're making me feel uncomfortable so it is some it is very difficult for people to communicate this so how do you go about communicating this find a proper way of communicating these things with your friends you know they are your friends there's a reason why they're your friends right it means you're comfortable with them it means you're able to put across what you want with them how you want to be treated as a friend so what you do is you tell them i don't do this you know my limit is that i love god if you come into my life you need to accept that i love god anything away from this i will not accept i don't drink alcohol this is my limit this is my boundary so you can't come into my life and want to make me drink alcohol when i clearly told you that according to my beliefs i cannot drink alcohol so you know there are people who do not you know we have friends that do not respect your boundaries they don't care you may try as many times as possible to put this across and say you know i don't like this i don't like the way you do this it doesn't make me comfortable it makes me feel a certain way but they just don't care because they're like ah come on you get over it you'll be like i don't like it when people show up at my house unannounced and then they just budge in and then you know everything that could be someone's boundaries but then there are those people who be like i don't care so how do you put this across and make it clear to them you literally become serious i know friends you know when you're talking to a friend they feel like ah oh, she's just joking ah oh, she's not serious but get as serious as you can put this across this is you are talking about these are your boundaries these are your beliefs you don't want to stay you don't want to pretend the rest of your life will be cause you are trying to you know protect someone else's feelings yet you are putting your feelings in jeopardy so what do you do make it clear straight face don't joke sit them down and tell them you know what i don't like this i don't like it when you come to my house and drink i don't like it when you come to my house unannounced i don't like it when you 
make me feel like um this kind of person is not it makes me feel uncomfortable say it as polite as possible but make sure you're putting it across and that person is understanding that these things make you uncomfortable and trust me if that person really wants to be in your life and they care about you they're going to understand but if they don't what do you do with your method you just have to start you know pushing them away because you don't want to constantly find yourself in a situation where you're uncomfortable right you're going to find a way of you know pulling away being reluctant with how you relate with them maybe you're just going to stop texting them as often it's difficult for people that we are used to we've been around them for so many years but then when you find that they are making you uncomfortable constantly they do not respect your personal boundaries they do not respect your beliefs as a person trust me you do not want to be in such a space for a long time otherwise you end yourself you end up losing yourself this is where peer pressure comes in you do things that you don't want to but just want to do it because everyone else is doing it and because people say it's cool so as a person you need to know where to draw the line how far people can go with the way they treat you the way they talk to you like for me you can't talk to me and raise your voice like trust me that is the line you can't cross the line you're talking to me and your voice is raised and you think i will understand what you're saying no i will literally tell you excuse me please we are grown-ups let's talk like normal people let's not talk as though we are belittling each other or anything let's talk like the way normal people see it so please tone down your voice because if you're talking to me like that trust me we are not going anywhere i'm not going to understand anything put it across in a polite manner as polite as you can but if that person doesn't want to understand then i guess it's time for you to just pull away and you know Save yourself. Save yourself from uncomfortability. Save yourself from going away from your personal beliefs as a human being. So yeah, um, I hope this video has helped you and that it's going to help you set boundaries for yourself and know when to draw the line and know when and how you want people to treat you. So yeah, um, we're going to end this video here. Let's get interact in the comment section. Let me know what you guys think about boundaries, how you communicate your boundaries to your friends and everything. Let's get interacting and see you guys in my next video. Bye!